Hey guys, how's it going? Back again with another vlog coming at you from apartment area. So if you didn't hear earlier today, Stan Lee ended up passing away at the age of 95. Now, you may be wondering why I would talk about him if this is a game channel I'm on right now. And, you know, that was heavily with comic books and, you know, with the Marvel movies that are currently out. Stan Lee's name comes up a bit, but... I don't, I don't know. When I heard the news today, I really did just want to talk about it because Stan Lee seemed like the kind of man who enjoyed his work and the things that he did. And I don't know. I just, I really, I really respect that is, I guess, what I want to say because he, he did what he loved. And it's something I've always, I've always felt really highly towards doing something that you enjoy doing or love doing. And after you do it, you keep doing it and you keep loving what you do. And Stan Lee for his entire life, it really seemed like he was a man who did that, you know, now and then you'd hear some news about things like uh, he'd have a dispute with somebody, or I think I heard something about his caregivers towards the end of his life or something like that. But I, I don't really want to talk about this. I want to, I want to think about Stan Lee and about the things that he did and the things that got Marvel to where it is today and the things that he created. Because when you think of characters like Spider-Man, I believe the Fantastic Four, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, um, I think Thor might have been his, the Incredible Hulk. Those were all Stan Lee. He created those. And I don't know. I, I heard the news today around one and... Uh, I was at work and I just thought I really I really want to make a video talking about it. Just not even about what he did, but really just thinking about the legacy he left behind and how much he cared about what he did and the people who cared about his stuff. When you went out and bought a comic for Spider Man, that was like that was purchasing a way into like you could say Stanley's world pretty much. You'd step into the world of Spider-Man. And even with the movies now, like Iron Man and all that, Iron Man was another one of his. Iron Man, like with Robert Downey Jr., I think I saw on Twitter, he was, you know, he was pretty bummed out about Stan Lee. A lot of people were. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, I can't think of a lot of the names off the top of my head, but... Yeah. Uh, it's a bummer. I mean, he made a lot of people happy. He, you know, all the cameos and all the movies he did, you could tell he really cared about it. Even if he didn't personally have anything to do with some of them, like Deadpool was Marvel, but it wasn't created by Stan Lee. He still cameoed in those and you can tell he had a fun time doing it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's really sad that Stan Lee had to, had to leave us. Again, he was 95 and, you know, n not a lot of people can stay around the world for too long. It it's a sad truth, but... Yeah, I I just wanted to get that off my chest, really, in just a quick little vlog, kind of. Just to, just to lament my thoughts and talk about it, because, yeah, a lot of respect for him. So, yeah, you guys have a good one, and uh, rest in peace, Stan Lee. You, you, were def you were definitely a legend amongst a lot of people. Thank you for what you did.